Welcome back to Making History 2, The War of the Worlds, and let's try Japan. Um, trying to pick up where I left off, we just started talking about uh, how the cities can produce, uh, any city can produce uh, infantry units, and apparently this horse artillery, so that's pretty cool. And um, if they just have factories, they don't need any special build, oh wait a minute. This munitions building is probably allowing me to to produce that uh, horse artillery. That's what it is. But any other city, let me just check to make sure. For oh, that's loud. I got to remember to press the hotkey C so I don't have to hear that nasty noise. Oh, this one has one too. Production. Yep, another one. Got to find a city without. Oops. Without a munitions factory. I don't even have one. Ah, here's one. City production. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the munitions factory. So, anyways, let's get this back in political view. Green, we're on Tokyo. And also, I think that's uh, about enough for that. Uh, my strategy for Japan is going to be initially to of course increase or max out my resource production because we have such a limited uh, uh, amount of territory as compared to our number one enemy uh, well historically in World War II and that's the US of A and uh, so what I want to do and my strategy in this game is I'm going to try to max out my resource production my industrial capacity any kind of oil I can get build up my navy, air force, army, but try to pacify the USA and not engage in any kind of you know crazy bombing Pearl Harbor crap and just uh, try to take over as much territory as I can in China and maybe mess with the USSR or a little bit. I'm going to avoid India if all if at all possible because Britain of course is the number one ranking country in the in this world. So that's going to be my strategy and just try to hang in there for the ideological win which is to to have uh, the most points for our ideology by grabbing them as much territory as possible without um, myself personally without engaging the major powers and uh, getting my butt whooped so that's how we're gonna plan it play it and uh, we'll see how it works out um, so I'm gonna get right into it without explaining too much more of the mechanics as I come across it I'll try to explain it a little bit but I just don't want to sit here and spend two or three let's uh, plays rather uh, videos just going over game mechanics I mean there's manuals out there <laughs> so here we go. Uh, so there's a little key here, a hot key called C, which will bring up this uh, city and region management and list all my regions at once that I own. And I can sort it by all cities or my national cities or my colonies, which I have some colonies, Saipan, and Korea, and so forth. So I'll go with all cities. And what I want to do is uh, just focus initially because I have some pretty fairly good industrial capacity going uh, at 231 so I'm going to focus on getting my my um, regional assets that would be my coal mines my uh, iron or my metals mines my uh, oil rigs going and, and maximum my farmlands and trying to get my uh, up here my resources stockpiled up so that I can uh, you know, feed my people so on and so forth so let's see all these have no project in this except for this one over here this coal pit in Kanto I don't know if that's on my started by accident or what but it's got five turns left to build you click on it it'll shoot you right to the province or right here I think I did that yeah, that's the one I clicked on last time just to show you an example. Alright, so press hockey C. Brings up all my things. I'm going to do the national ones. Focus on those first. In, in Japan. Before I go monkeying around building up resources across the waves. So let's see what we got. We're going to go to regional assets. 
and national regions Anami Islands what do we got now I found out you can sort these uh, available slots instead of clicking on everyone one at a time you can you can sort them and let's as you can see the food that shows you how many slots I haven't even been built on yet in any of these provinces so we'll say Mutsu has six uh, food that can, food slots that can be developed uh, right from you know open field farms uh, if I click on coal slots it'll list them sort them from the greatest to smallest on coal pits or who can build a, I mean coal coal slots so coal is a pretty good uh, pretty uh, well needed resource so I'm gonna go right down this one's already building a coal pit, coal pit. so I'm gonna hit a coal pit there Oops. And you can and you can do it this way which is the easiest if you're gonna you know crank up a bunch of them I think I might do a few coal pits a few metal oh I don't have any metal slots at all wow I'm gonna be hurting <laughs> oh, what do I got over oh, across colonies in China anything whoa I'm hurting Korea I got some in Korea so I guess I will build a metals pit there and wow I'm hurting on metal how about uh, I better go all the ages then wow it's a two jeez oh that's sorry I have to buy it on the open market I guess so I have 120 manpower left what else can I do uh, da, 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 national regions get the coal going I guess sell coal and buy metal that's my gonna have to be my strategy there's one here and that's it for that and the rest I guess I will do um, farms get the farms going make some food sell it on the market feed my people so open field farm open field farm oh I'm running out of manpower so I can stop now it's turning red I have no more manpower to assign to that that's good for this turn my research centers I gotta make sure they're researching something so I go over here to the minimap thing click on it it's gonna bring up the in-game tech tree and any one of these that are green have already been researched see this they finished on them shows what it unlocks shows the prerequisite um, concentrate I believe um, engineer mountain infantry well, how far have we got Alpine. amphibious assaults really don't want to invade anybody amphibiously if possibly possible rather uh, that's finished that's finished assembly lines that's good canneries mm. Mine mechanization. I'm going to need that. So, mine mechanization is the first thing I need to research. So, click this button, it brings you back to the map. Up on the right, and then here I am. Go back into my region management research centers and mine mechanization. I'll start them all researching that. The more you have on each research item, the less turns it takes. And let's see. That's all the manpower I have. Industrial production, this shows what's being manufactured. I have a couple of factories started. And down here in Yokohama, I'm building some Corvettes. Looks like one, I hope. I don't want it to. Let's see. Corvettes. I don't mind building one. But I don't want it to. I think it was set to build them uh, continuously. If you hit this button, it'll be a repeating order. And I don't want to keep building them for a while, especially with my metal situation. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to go to the open market now. Here is the trade and finances uh, stockpiles. I'm 
want to buy metal up because I can't make any. Currently, it says... Oh, there it is, 2,000. What can I sell? I've got 2,000 food. Let's see. Let's roll over these. I'm producing 407. Consume zero, but it was only the first turn. I guess we'll have to run the first turn and see how much you're consuming. So let's hit end turn. When this turns green again, I know the turns are open. Oh, there it goes. It clicks over. All right, now we got a good idea of what's being used. So, uh, okay, right down here. They, we consumed, my own country consumed 561 food. I've only produced 405, so right away you see we're going to have a deficit. Got to start in uh, increasing my food supply, my oil, I'm not producing any, but I use 15, need to get on that somehow. I got to buy oil, Ugh, I don't want to buy oil, okay, so oil, buy only, uh, Hmm. Market demand. Market supply zero. <laughs> well, I guess I'll buy it when I can. Let's see. Coal. I'm able to produce my own coal. I'm producing 60. I consumed 186, but that's really because I've, I started up all those projects which used coal. So I'm probably not really consuming. Well, uh, I'm going to hold off on buying any. I got 4,000. I'll use it for a little while. What I have, producing 10, consume 50, might be as a result of those factories that I put up. We're going to see I'm going to try to buy some. Let's see. Set this to buy only. Current stockpile, 2,000. Anything under 2,000, it'll buy. Arms, let's see. Not producing any, consume 25. Well, I can produce those. I have tons of munitions factory, but I believe I need metal for that. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm not going to buy any and see if I can produce my own to keep up with my own demands. Here's our financial report. We spent 249.6 million dollars last turn. Here's how it broke down. Maintenance costs. All went to maintenance costs. Our income, food revenue, 112.2 million we got from what we farm. Manufacturing brought us in 271 million, all the goods and appliances and everything were manufacturing to make money. And no exports, no conquests. Total income, minus total spending, we had a balance, 133 million. That's good. That's good. That won't last long, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It'll also break it down specifically into spending on and what you spend it on. Usually don't look at that, but if you're really interested, you can break it down even further. Pretty cool pie charts. All right, getting out of there. Oh no 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 no! If I show you this button, shows where all your armies are, your list of ships and everything. Um, it'll fleet air forces. All right, let's run another turn and see what happens. A little notification list over here on the sidebar. So when things finish producing, oh, one's flashing. You can click on it. it says our laboratories in Tokyo achieved a scientific breakthrough on mine mechanization. That's good. So you probably we advanced a little bit. So the last time we had it, it said there was 24 turns. Oops, that's not the one. Let's see, is it? 24 turns, see, now we only have 20, so it, it knocked off uh, four or three turns worth of research uh, in one's fell swoop because of this uh, scientific breakthrough. So we can get a few more of those going. Doo -doo -doo. Oops. See how our assets are coming along. Uh, three more turns on these coal pits, metal pits, eight more turns on these farms. We got some more manpower. We can initiate some more projects. Where's our, uh, our metal slots? Two. That's not being 
maybe some more coal. We'll start another coal pit over here. And damn, we got no oil. That bothers me. Now we know why they historically they had to invade Singapore. Or uh, not Singapore, but the uh, Indonesia. Because <laughs> they had absolutely no oil production. Uh, food slots, call slots. I didn't call slots. One down here. And we ran out of manpower now, so stop. Let's see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to cut back on what these things are producing because it's costing me precious resources if I'm producing textiles or anything above goods. Goods, standard goods, take no resources to produce money. Anything like textiles and wrought iron and all that does. So I don't want to use them if possible. They make a little more money, but not enough for me to want to bother with at this point. So there they go. Goods. Goods. And I still think we'll be making enough money from that to uh, toss anything. <clears throat> in fact, we're making so much. I think in Hiroshima. Where's my national provinces? National Hiroshima. Any of these? Da 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 da. Ten Nagasaki. Ten Sunday. Oh right here. I actually want to produce another cottage factory here. Boom. Doesn't have enough men, but next turn will start as soon as it has, generates more men. As you can see, I have 68.6 .6 basically manpower each turn. The more food you produce, by the way, the quicker that raises the, the generation rate. So that's another thing to consider. Besides just feeding your population, you're increasing your manpower. So, in turn. Oh. Another research. Uh, breakthrough. Good. Let's check that. Oh, gosh. I keep hitting the wrong one. In Tokyo. In Tokyo Research Centers. Hmm. That might have been an old notification because it only advanced one turn. 19 turns till that. It's nothing else. Click through again. Early game. A lot of clicking through. Oh, here's a notice. Brazil placed a trade embargo on Paraguay. Okay. That's it. Another turn. Canto completed coal pit. That's one of our provinces. Ah. Uh -huh. Ham. Ham. Gyeongyong Metals Pit? I can't pronounce it. Hokkaido. Chubu. Kyushu. Mutsu. High stability causes production of coal in Chubu to rise by five this turn. Yeah, that happens every now and then. If your stability of your country is 100% and everybody's happy, sometimes they'll randomly produce a little bit more extra resources uh, sporadically. So, and you'll notice this uh, reports or notification section over here. This is the resources section. You can click on that. And anything I just seen in the little newspaper shots will, will show up here, which is very handy because you can click on this bam it'll shoot you to the province and you don't have to go through the big list you can go right to the province list which is this is cool I like to look at these little things going up and you see you completed the coal pit so we can start another one from here boom now I can go through and do all these but I kind of like to parse them out so that they'll all get finished at the same time otherwise I gotta you know using up all my guys here so and then I can click on this one Metal pits, we really want to get this one going. A metal pit, because we have so few. And Hokkaido, bam, coal pit. Now I could go straight to coal mine, but it takes more resources and men, so 
I want to kind of hold off and upgrade them later as I go. That's my strategy. I've had success with that in my other games, so I'm going to keep doing that. Chubu. See, this one's already in mine, but I'm, I'm just going to go Cold Pits to save money for now. And Kyushu. Another Cold Pit. And Mutsu. Boom. Cold Pit close out these notifications this and I'm going to check with my hockey C just to make sure everything's building something regional assets uh, still don't have enough men to even start these I'm going to hold off uh, wow hold on it's probably going to be a few turns before I can even get men to start those projects so advance a turn boom they started two more that don't have enough men money's going up that's a good thing advance another turn and yeah, this is completed gold pit gold pit ah my corvettes were produced in Yokohama um, let's see really rough can't get uh, enough manpower quick enough to start up uh, like I can when I'm playing America <laughs> but uh, that's just the way it is so everybody's producing something da -da -da -da. how's our research 15 turns left on mine mechanization and we can upgrade our cottage factories to mechanized factories da -da -da -da. It's kind of tedious, but the build-up, you got to make, you know, if you want control over it, your build-up, your building, this is where you start. Oh, yep, Corvettes, shoot me right there. Back, we're producing goods now instead of the Corvettes, because remember I turned off the, it's the build, let's, click on the town if you go down to the little lighthouse you can see that it looks lit in any of your coastal cities that means there's a fleet in there so if you click on it it brings up the fleet and the information on it click this and then this boom that's what's in that one so you got a, a brand new Corvette here Click on that. The lighthouse. There's five different fleets in there. Wow. And this one has transports and four cruisers. If you roll over, you can get a pretty good idea what's in there. The submarine squadron, two submarine flotillas, security squadron, two battleships cruiser and one destroyer escort a reserve fleet with one battleship in it and what's called a second carrier group has a carrier and a destroyer and one one air group out of the total of two so let's take a look at that click on that second carrier group expand the unit button there it is Hosho is the carrier as a third destroyer is escorting it and if you come down here this little button down here in the bottom left it says carriers on it but see the little airplane if you click on that it'll show you the air group associated with or that's supposed to be on that carrier boom the Hosho air group like that and there's what they're carrying they have uh, biplane fighters on them currently one squadron or whatever it's, it's supposed to represent <laughs> uh, of fighters on, on that air group on that air carrier out of the two now I used to think that just fighters went on there but I found out uh, as I was reading the manual that you can produce later on in the game and research and produce naval bombers and they can also be carried on carriers so you can mix it up between fighters and bombers so you can go get after the ships with bombers and your fighters of course will give you uh, 
air superior cap um, and fight off any any bombers enemy bombers that might be attacking your carrier fleet so that's it on that and what else we got oh, our submarine down here just one da -da 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 -da. so it's our place in the world here our ideology of course is where we belong to the fascists we have 1084 um, points democratic 3000 we got a ways to go looks like we're tied with the authoritarian ideology communists are way twice as far ahead on them alliances in the world we are allied with Manchuria British their colonies basically America Philippines our place in the world hmm let's find us who's number one rank United States oh United Kingdom we are sixth believe it or not sixth ranked in the world and Germany so wow how about that all right so we're gonna advance a couple more turns the show on the road a lot of building, a lot of turn advancing, so forth. Another one. It's three or four till something happens here. Ah, coal pit, open field farm, Okinawa, open field farm. Good, our farming's. Let's see 427 now per turn 573 consumed demand 573 so I got a ways to go I guess we oh our fascist party gained popularity that means that because we're doing so well our ruling uh, political party let's see if we can find ourselves here government is is going up uh, we're almost 50 percent we've got a squash the democratic and authoritarian uh, arms or uh, political uh, factions and get everybody on our side so there's some things we can do we can conduct internal propaganda to uh, bolster our ruling uh, government party so I think we'll do that I'm gonna click on that uh, launch okay so we'll see how successful that is there's our colonies the breakdown of our people any programs oh it's gonna cost us 30 million dollars and 15 turns to do this internal propaganda program and when we're done we should see a boost in our numbers our percentage uh, in the country boom so with that I think oh yeah we're gonna have a look at our regions get them producing again and then we'll call it quits for this let's play Kanto Let's see what Kanto's doing. They coal. Chukoka. They did an open field farm. I think I'm gonna let them sit for a while. Maybe do some oh, that's a national, right? Yeah. Okay. Open field farm. Okinawa. I'm not gonna do anything with them yet. Mm, this one I will, because it's on the main island in uh, Diwa, Shikoku. Mm, sure, open. 
Field Farm. Him. Wow, I can't pronounce this one. Him Gyeong. Him Gyeong Gong. Uh, wow, I butchered that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think it'll let me. It will it'll let me upgrade to a mine. It's on the coast of the Eurasia, though. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade it so I can get uh, 10 out of that. I, I can't mess around with metal. i got to have metal. So, Hokkaido. Uh, if it'll let me. Yep, coal mine upgrade. And Jubu coal pit. I'll do another coal pit. And double get rid of this notification double check my screen with all my cities on it make sure everybody's producing something make sure every region's assets what do I got 43 I can probably build one more thing we got coal slots da 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 I can start one here coal, coal pit one more metal slots Boo-hoo. Yep, that's it for that. How's our research? Twelve more turns. Alright. Well, that'll do it for now. And be sure to tune in again for part three of uh, Making History 2, The War of the Worlds, as Let's Try Japan, and signing out. Thank you for viewing. Goodbye.